We are living in a world where living and non-living organisms are present. As we all know, living organisms are capable of growth and change, thus they bear life. They are composed of different organic and inorganic compounds. We always hear about lipids during biology class in high school. Before anything else, let us first define what is a lipid. A lipid is a diverse group of organic compounds including fats, oils, and certain components of membranes that are grouped together because they do not interact appropriately with water. Lipids contain the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Lipids are great source of energy. In fact, this is one of their functions. Another function of lipids are they serve as an insulating layer beneath the skin. Lastly, lipids also contain the body temperature. There are three diverse hydrophobic molecules which are fats, phospholipids, and steroids. Fats are often distinguished as the soft flesh on the bodies of people and animals. However, this term is different in this subject. Fats Fats, also known as triacylglycerol, are constructed by joining a glycerol unit to three fatty acids by dehydration reactions. Foods that are rich in saturated fats are full fat milk, butter, meat, and sweet snacks, while foods that are rich in unsaturated fats are skimmed milk drink, spreads, trail mix, and olive oil. Next is the phospholipid. The phospholipid bilayer's function is to keep a barrier between the cell and the outside. It also stores and transports a variety of proteins that are essential to a cell function. It controls what enters and exits the cells. Lastly, when we hear the word steroids, we immediately think of people who are muscly bounded bodybuilders who take anabolic steroids. Steroids help control metabolism, immune systems, and to withstand illness and injuries. Some examples of steroids in our bodies would include cholesterol, estrogen, and testosterone. Do you know, do you know, do you know that lipids are not soluble in water? They are nonpolar and thus soluble in nonpolar environment. Do you know, do you know, do you know that lipids came from animals and plants? Examples of lipids are fossils and wax, source energy.